now this object is created and you don't have any setters so ideally you should not be able to you know modify any property in this class but there is a big catch so you can see that our immutability has broken here we wanted that after creating our object it should never be modified but it got modified so in order to fix this hello friends welcome to another video on our channel and today we learn what are immutable classes so what they are that we learn how to create immutable classes that also we learn and we will understand in lot detail what is the meaning of the concept of immutability so you must be aware that in java the memory is divided into by and large into heap and stacks and there are some other things as well so the by and large memory is divided into heaps stacks and other things so the meaning of immutability is whenever you create any object on the heap once it is created its state will never be changed the state of this object will never be changed or in simpler words we can say it can never be modified but you know modified seems a bit abstract so the correct technical definition is that its state will never be changed so now when we say state will never be changed we need to understand what is the meaning of state so let's now understand what do we mean by state so we'll now learn what is the meaning of state which immutable classes don't allow to be changed so in order to understand this let's take an example of a student class so suppose that we have a student class and in the student class we have three properties age name and activities of the student so we'll take an integer age a string name and for the activities property we will take it as string builder okay so let's create a constructor for this class as well so we will have our student constructor as it will take all the three properties and it will initialize these properties to the class level variables now suppose that you create a new object of this class for example you create student student1 is equal to new student and you pass age and you pass name and you pass activities as well and in string builder activities you pass cricket so you here we have created this student object now when we create this object this object obviously gets created at the heap now at this heap level this student has these values it has 12 as its age it has ravi as its name and it has cricket as its activities so if our student object is immutable these values should never be changed they should never be changed at any cost once created it will always have age as 12 name as ravi and activities as cricket so this is the concept of immutability that once the values that are assigned at the time of object creation once the object is created at the heap it will never be changed or in precise words its state will never be changed and by state what we mean is the values of the properties at the class level 
that the object holds the value inside the class level variables that is known as the state of the object so in immutability the state should never be changed so this is the meaning of immutability now let's see what is the benefit of immutability why do we want to create immutable classes or what is the benefit that we get by creating immutable classes so the first benefit is that it is thread safe so what do you mean by thread safe basically when multiple threads try to modify the object the changes should be consistent means if thread 1 modifies any change first and then thread 2 tries to modify it the changes of thread 1 should be visible to thread 2 so you know this is the meaning of thread safe but since in immutable case they will never be modified so we can you know implicitly say that they are thread safe because no thread will ever be able to modify them so you know they are implicitly thread safe there is another benefit of immutable classes which is that they can be very easily used as keys in maps and especially hash map you know if you are not aware hash map maps on hashing techniques so you know it has a list of hashes you know it has a list where the index of the list are hash values of the keys of the map and each index points to an individual list in itself so whenever we try to put something as a key value pair in the hash map you know it evaluates the hash code of the key based on its state and remember that state is actually what we learned earlier the values that the object stores so based on its state it evaluates the hash code and based on the hash code it goes to the particular list it goes to the particular index of the main list and then it goes to the individual list and saves the object so in order to decide which list to actually save the an object we need the hash code of the key and hash code of the key is determined by its state so suppose for example if it is a mutable object and its state changes if its state changes then obviously its hash code will also change so so then if you try to get something using key again it evaluates the hash code of the key to go to the index of the main list to find the object but if its state will change maybe it will go to the wrong index and if it goes to the wrong index there will be a problem we will not be able to retrieve the object so if our object is immutable its state will never change which means its hash code will never change and therefore the get and put behavior of maps will work perfectly fine so these are the two benefits of immutable classes now let's see if we want to make our student class immutable what all changes we need to do so the first change that we need to do is make this class final and why do we want to make it final so that you know no class can extend it and modify its behavior okay so that no child class should be able to modify its behavior okay so we make this class final next what we need to do is that we will make all the properties as private so the second step is to make all the properties as private then in order for other classes to be able to access its state we will provide getters of all the properties so we will have public integer get age 
which will return the age value age property similarly we will have get name and for the activities property we will have get activities getter method and we will not provide any setters for these three properties we will provide getters but we will not provide any setters so as the calling classes will only have getters they will be able to access the values but since we have not provided any setters they will not be able to modify these values so what we have done is we have made the class final so that no one is able to extend and modify the behavior of the class then we have made all the properties as private and we have provided only getters and we have not provided any setters so that you know the no one should be able to modify the state the object can only be created with the use of constructor and once created there is no any way to modify the state of the object so this is the by and large changes that we require but there is a catch here so let's see what is the catch in this situation so the catch is suppose you create a new student object so you do student student 1 is equal to new student you pass the age you pass the name as ravi and for activities you pass a string builder object in which you pass cricket but now this object is created and you don't have any setters so ideally you should not be able to you know modify any property in this class but there is a big catch for example if you do student1 dot get activities and then you call append method on this string builder object so you do append and you also add volleyball to it now if you try to read what is there in student1 activity so what do you do student1 dot get activity so what do you think you will get will you get cricket or will you get cricket and volleyball and the answer is that you will get cricket comma volleyball because you called this append method and you passed it volleyball so you can see that our immutability has broken here we wanted that after creating our object it should never be modified but it got modified so in order to fix this what we need to do is we need to modify our, our get activities method so what we'll do is in our get activities method we will return copy of the activities object and not the actual object so what we'll do we'll do return new string builder and then pass this dot activities in its constructor and we will return a copy of the activities object and not the actual activities object and then if we call student1 dot get activities in this case we will get only cricket we will not get cricket comma volleyball then any calling class will not be able to modify our student property similarly if we talk about the name property if we call the get name method and if you try to since name is of type string and if you try to see what all methods you have you will see that java provides no methods to modify string you will not see uh, as you saw append method in string builder you will not see any method which will allow you to modify its value so the reason why java doesn't give any method is because string the name string is a immutable class in itself so 
in this example if you see i had deliberately chosen three different kind of data types for example for integer i had chosen a primitive data type for name i had chosen a immutable object since string is by itself an immutable class and for activities i had chosen a mutable object so this last point whenever our class has any immutable properties we should return a copy object instead of the actual real object this is the fourth point that we should keep in mind while designing immutable classes now with these changes our code is complete for our immutable class so we need to have final at class level the properties should be private we should not provide any setters only getters and for mutable properties we do return them a copy of our immutable property and not our actual immutable object i hope you would have liked our explanation of immutability and immutable classes do let us know in comment section what other videos you would like to see from us and we will be very happy if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos thanks a lot for watching